Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Facebook pictures and videos into your Google account. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer all of your videos and your pictures on your Facebook profile to securely back them up into your Google Photos app. So if you have a Google account, you can go into Photos and you can store your photos and videos in there at lower resolutions for permanent keeping and it doesn't cost you anything. So if you wanna keep a backup of everything that you've got on Facebook, pictures and videos wise, maybe you're considering deactivating your Facebook account or erasing it altogether, but you wanna keep some of those pictures and videos that you've spent all that time and effort trying to collate, then this is a really good way of saving those. Also, if well, if you want to maybe use some of the Facebook pictures and share them on other types of social networks, which you cannot currently do from Facebook, then this is a really easy way of doing it from your Google Drive or directly from Google Photos. So let's go to the PC and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this on a Windows 10 desktop. Uh, the process is actually very similar on Android and iOS. If you want a dedicated video on that, then please let us know in the comments section below. and um, Maybe we'll make a video specifically for those types of devices. Anyway, let's move on. So if we go into Chrome, which is our browser of choice and go into Facebook and what we need to do is to go into our personal profile so you can either click on your profile here or just click on the down arrow whichever is easier go into account and what you need to go into is settings and privacy then into settings and then you get your general account settings which I'll, uh, I'll blur out for obvious reasons but what you need to do is to go into your Facebook information. And we've got a section here which is called transfer a copy of your photos or videos. So this allows you to transfer your photos or videos to another service. So let's click on view. And it's going to ask you for your password. So we'll go ahead and put our password in. And then it comes up with this next window. So transfer a copy of our photos or videos. Make a copy of photos and videos you've uploaded to Facebook and transfer them to another service. Uh, you can also download your information directly. So if you want to download it directly, you can click on this link and you can download it to either an HTML file or whatever you want to do. But this is the easy one to do. So choose a destination. Now currently there's not many destinations available. It's only the Google Photos. Obviously they will be adding more in future. So do keep an eye out for that. So we're just going to select Google Photos. And then we get the option choose to transfer a copy of either of your photos or videos you've uploaded to Facebook. So if you want to do photos, you can click on photos. If you want to do videos, you can click on videos. Unfortunately, you can't do both of them at the same time. You have to do one and then go back in again after and do the other one. But we're going to select photos and it'll say here, Google will ask you to confirm this transfer. So click on next. And then you have to log into your Google account. And then you have to grant Facebook permission. Now, some of you may be a little bit weary about this. To be honest with you, it's a little bit weird Facebook working with Google, but still, there we go. So what you need to do is to grant Facebook permission. If we click on this, it just basically says to add new photos, videos, and albums to your Google Photos library. And we're gonna click on allow. And we have to confirm our choices. So we're just gonna click on allow. And then we get another option to see if we still want to do it. So Google Photos, we're signing into Google and we can confirm transfer. So now we can see we have a new activity. It says photos transfer to Google Photos and it was requested on the 6th of May 2020 at 21.44. So as you can see, it says in progress. Now you can leave this running. Obviously, if you decided you don't want to do it, you can click on stop but otherwise you can just click on back and go back to doing whatever it is you're doing. So what we're waiting for now is we'll get a notification in Facebook to say that the process has been done or finished. Once it's been finished, you can go back in again and choose videos or vice versa. If you've done videos already, you can then, once videos is finished, you can choose photos. You can't go straight back in and change it straight away. It has to do one at a time. Uh, I'm not sure the reason behind that, but obviously I guess it makes it simpler somewhere along the line, but you can do that at a later date. So you can essentially, you can close that down. And if you want to then, you can go in to see what is being uploaded. So if we go into 
our Google Photos. And we can see some of our pictures that we've posted on Facebook, etc., are now going to be uploaded. So that is pretty much it. Do a quick refresh to see if there's anything new been added. I don't think I've posted anything. I think that was probably the most recent one I've done, actually, that fan there. But you get the general idea. So that is how to transfer your information from your Facebook app or your Facebook feed into your Google Photos. Okay, so there you go. There is a uh, cost-effective, hey, it's free. What more could you want? A very cost-effective and efficient way of backing up all of your stuff from your Facebook application into your Google Photos. And like I said before, Google Photos is excellent because you can store a ton of video and a ton of photos in there. It doesn't cost you anything. It is slightly reduced resolutions, but when you're doing things on Facebook, generally they downscale it anyway, so it isn't gonna be a problem. So if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next Facebook post. Thanks for watching.